So I've been messing around with lovable.dev today and wanted to show how easy it is to take a website that you've created with Lovable and deploy it to Cloudflare. So the prompt here was to create a website for a low poly PS1 game, um, some details about how the website should look. And then at the end here, I said use Tailwind, CSS, and Shad CN, but customize it to fit the aesthetic. Um, and this is what it came up with. It's pretty awesome. Uh, there's like animation effects and stuff like that. There's this whole sort of layout and uh, yeah, it looks great. Um, so what happens when we actually want to do something with this? So if I go up to this GitHub button and click connect GitHub, I already have my account uh, connected, like my personal account. And then if I go to manage here, I can install this uh, on my account. So I'll say all repositories and I will uh, sign in here real quick. Once I've connected my organization, I'll go to manage here and link this to my organization. So that all looks correct. And then I just need to transfer the project. So I will click transfer here. It's going to make a new uh, GitHub repository and we'll go look at that here in a sec. I'll actually grab this SSH link of that. Now, the important thing here is kind of what the code here looks like, right? So if I click this button to switch to code, you can see that it's a React application. So this is sort of the index is actually really well structured, which is awesome. And it uses Vite under the hood. Um, so I asked it earlier in the prompt here, I said compile using Vite so I can deploy it myself later. And it says, well, it actually already uses Vite by default, which is great. So it has everything already set up for me. And all I need to do is run npm run build uh, or npm run preview if I want to look at it locally. Uh, but build should be enough here. It's going to create a dist folder with optimized static files, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay, so I've hopped over to the terminal and what I'm going to do is clone this repository. So I'm going to clone it down locally and I'm going to uh, open it up and you can see everything looks the same as it did in the lovable UI, which is great. So I'll run npm install and npm run build here and you can see it compiles correctly. Everything looks good. This probably won't run locally because it's going to try and uh, run the uh, assets and sort of load them. So I could run this with a local uh, HTTP server, but I'm pretty sure it'll just work, which is fine. Now, in order to set this up with Cloudflare Workers, what I'm going to do is use this tutorial that we have for our Vite plugin, which is a React SPA or single page application with an API. In fact, we don't even care about the API part itself. Um, that's like optional, but we are going to set up everything um, so that we can use this all, um, use the Vite plugin and deploy it to Cloudflare. Um, so I'm going to start by copying both the at Cloudflare Vite plugin as well as Wrangler, which is our command line tool. By the way, this will all be under the free plan with Cloudflare. So even if you've never used it before, you should be able to run this all um, without any problems, which is great. Now it looks Okay, so we're having a bunch of dependency issues. So what I'm going to do is just run npm update and I'm going to let everything update to hopefully a fairly recent version. And then I'm going to try and install uh, the dependencies for Cloudflare. So I think what's happening here is that Lovable is using old versions of dependencies and that's making it difficult for us to get up and running with this plugin, which is fairly new. So I ran npm update. Let's go ahead and try and install this and hopefully it should now work. Okay, so that's great. So you missed about five minutes of dependency hell management. So uh, just take my word for it, um, especially with a simple page like this, like a landing page, npm update is fine. Of course, if you are exporting something significantly more complex, you might have to sort of revisit that and do something a little different. But for our cases, this is fine. Just know that package stuff may be an issue if you're trying to export from Lovable into, uh, into Cloudflare land. Okay, so now we can move on with this uh, configuration here. So I'm going to grab that uh, import and and then I'm going to grab it in the Vite config as well as put it down here. I don't think we need to do any configuration there, though there is configuration if you have settings you want to do. Uh, this should be fine for now. And then I'm also going to grab my wrangler.json.c file. Uh, this is the configuration file for Wrangler, which is our command line tool um, for deploying Cloudflare applications. So all of the applications, as well as all the additional resources like databases and blob storage and everything else uh, is included here. Um, I'll also bump up my compatibility date here. Um, this is what indicates uh, how the runtime should work and pull in new features. Um, it allows you to remain sort of backwards compatible uh, as your application stays on our platform for hopefully a very long time. And then 
then the last thing here is this asset handling. And so what this basically says is by default, if there is um, a request made to some asset that it doesn't recognize, it's going to route it to the single page application um, asset directory, which is going to be all the stuff that we're building out for this application. So with that all figured out, now let's run npm run dev and make sure that we can see this locally. So local localhost 8080, we'll open that up. It looks great. Everything looks the same as it did in uh, Lovable. So we know that it's running locally, which is great. And now the next thing we need to do is actually get it ready for deployment. So let's say we want to add an API server. We certainly can. Uh, we can provide this main worker slash index.ts and we can actually go and uh, set up all of this stuff for um, you know extra routes, extra resources, and for more sort of substantial applications, you can absolutely do this. Um, for our case, I don't think that we need to, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll come back and add that if we need to. Um, but I think it should be okay. What we're going to do is instead run npm run build again and make sure it can still build everything looks correct there which is great and then um, what we will do is uh, run deploy so I'm gonna run npx Wrangler deploy this is where we'll know if we did actually set everything up correctly let's find out we may need to configure the asset config here just a little bit um, it has been able to find the assets which is great so that all looks good it only takes a couple seconds to upload everything there and I also get this URL here um, which is at my signal nerve dot workers dot dev so I get my own unique subdomain now let's go ahead and open that up and see if it works looks like it's loading and there it is we've deployed it so this was deployed to my workers dot dev subdomain which is great now if I open up the cloud Cloudflare dashboard here. Uh, so I'm here in my Cloudflare account and I go to the compute section. I open up workers and pages. Um, you can see this is my new application deployed to Cloudflare's developer platform. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and you can see that there are metrics for all. All this is included um, with Cloudflare workers. So if you want to take your Lovable or your VO or Bolt apps and deploy it, you're going to get all of this stuff for free. So you're going to get metrics. You're going to have deploy logs. So you can see these are all the deploys that I've done. Um, I can roll back at any time to one of these previous ones, which is great. Um, and then I also get logs. So I can see um, all the logs coming in uh, to this application, especially if I'm doing any sort of API stuff. Uh, I get console log access here uh, in the dashboard. And then the final thing is domains. So uh, let's say that I go and buy a domain for this project. I can connect a custom domain here directly inside of Cloudflare. Um, so I can go and buy. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, it'll be fun. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to register this domain, playsignaldecay.com. Once we buy it, essentially what will happen is it'll get set up inside of my Cloudflare account. All of the DNS records uh, will be ready to go. It'll point to the correct name servers. And then all I need to do is actually go back to that project. So let's say compute, signal decay, settings, domains, add custom domain and I will plug this in and you can see that it already knows what stuff to set here and so I'll just click this button down at the bottom though my screen sharing is in the way slightly I'll say add domain and that's all that I need to do so we'll wait for DNS to propagate just a little bit I mean we can try right now and see what happens it's actually already <laughs> already set up which is crazy um, and I'll just turn on HTTPS after the fact um, but that's literally all that you need to do which is really incredible um, um, so in just a couple minutes, we can go from a lovable project or Bolt or VO or whatever you're doing and make it available here uh, on a real website powered by Cloudflare. So you get all of the stuff that you know and love Cloudflare for, like CDN, uh, developer platform stuff, uh, DDoS protection, etc. And it only takes a couple minutes from start to finish to get it running. So hopefully you found this interesting and useful. I am pretty excited about this. It would have taken me a long time to make this website. And that's why we love this AI stuff, right? Is that it can knock this stuff out really, really quickly. Uh, hope you found this useful. And uh, yep, see you in the next one.